Elio guys and welcome back. In today's old video though, we're going to be taking a look at Cyber Fantasy and let's see if it's something that's maybe fancy and interesting to play and if it is not, uh, we'll find out. So let's go ahead you guys and give this a goo. Alright, so it looks like we can pick our class right here. There's a baby girl, she's an arbiter. Cutting, charging, rider, and scythe suppressing reaper. So I guess there's two different types of weapons. I mean, she looks awesome. Let's look at the male version. Super flashy. Yeah, he's going completely anime. So he has a sword. So does one of them have like a sword and the other one have like the scythe? No, she has a sword too. What else is there? Manipulator. Intelligence based range master, dual wheels, arcane control, guitar, battlefield command. Mmm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I wish I could take a look at the skills. Because the dual wheels, I mean, that looks cool to me. Guitar, I'm not a big fan of, like, a guitar. And this guy's dagger stalking assassin, he's a shadower. And also a Taiti Shadow Samurai. I don't really care about the dual wielding, but if I could be a Samurai, that would be super, super good. Is that the Samurai? No, that's dual blade still. Hmm. Let me see here. That was intelligence-based, powerful, and front melee master. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one for right now. It's the great sword action. I'm a big fan of great swords. And this is the customization over here. We got some hair. Not too much hair to choose from. But I mean, how much of the hair are we gonna actually see? Let's see, hair color. We'll go with blue. Face. Once again, how much of the face are we gonna actually see? So, go on to the next one. And uh, my name is not Fox. My name is Elio. So we'll hit confirm and let's see what's uh, popping here. All right, tap on the quest bar. This is an emergency. Oh, look at that we baby girl. Your help. Do you? What happened? The mastermind of the AI revolted. Pick a suitable weapon and awaken your combat memory. Okay. We're running, 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 running. Is this completely auto for the, the run? The more powerful a weapon is, the easier it will be for you to handle the enemies. Oh yeah, we got some cloud action right there. Very well. Now defeat the training target ahead and go find Diana. All right, equip now. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. I'm just too powerful. Level three. I killed three enemies. What the fudge? It seems like modification project is a success. You have indeed shown impressive result after the enhancement. We will talk about that later. Activate the skill chip to defeat the training target. Show me the strength of a perfect combatant. Okay. Air slash cause 175 skill damage to the target. All right, where's air slash at? Air slash, there's a gust smite, parting chop, whirlpool slash, black mark, no. Healing field, storm assault, scorching blade, weakness attack. Alright, so we just unlock that skill right there. Is there a way to level it up? Yes, there's a way to level it up. And it goes up to four for the skills. It looks like you can only have four skills at the moment. And skill installation is unlocked at level 100. Okay, how do I get out of here? Mission accomplished. Let's keep it moving. The radar detected an Omnix Lord flying towards us. How do I get across? Destroy Armadura. Alright, what's going on here? Titan Mecha! Prepare to get slid, nerd. You and your freaking 4K HP. Yo, does he do a move? Am I doing the move? I don't, I'm not sure. On my door emerging now, it's the only way. All right, what's happening here? 
Okay, we're going straight up Gundam style. Yeah, I don't I no longer know what's happening. Super duper flashy though. Yep, he's dead just like that. You seen it here first. World record pace. Plain boots. I did all that for some plain stuff. How could you? Have you? Shown such a great talent in your first usage. Enough with the flattering. We must report the situation to the Liberty City headquarters. Oh no! Because of the battle just now, this place is about to blow up. We must get out of here. Whoops! Time to make like a leaf and tree. All right, game's over, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> After repair the armadura against that little trash mob, dude. All right, I got some fine pants. Oh, yeah, they are fine. Well, they were fine. Missed that blue action. So is is it just spamming this move? There's no cooldown on it. Never mind. There it goes. For whatever reason, it's just not using it. Do I have like a certain MP cost or something? Whatever, I'll stop fighting these guys. The UI is like pretty like chill too. Character, strength, agility, constitute intelligence, HP attack, attack speed, movement speed. Arbiter apply points looks like there are skill points in the game, but they haven't told me I Just don't have any Okay, zero remaining 123. So when do I get those? Well look at me dude. I'm decked out. I'm pimping right now All right level 10 solo boss can I really solo a boss it looks like there's some stamina here and it drops this AO1 gear. There's also hunting boss and Colosseum. Okay, I think she just did this skill as soon as the battle started. Didn't we just fight this dude? He just has like a lot less HP. Drop rate at current rating 200%. Then eliminate boss within 40 seconds and it guarantees a clearance of SSS rating. That's a lot of gear. Alright, there is some decent gear drop right there, so I'm assuming this is a way to get gear. That weapon didn't drop. I don't believe it. They gave it to me for free. All right, I need more strength and agility to equip this. Interesting. So can I still equip it? Or does it raise my strength up? Is that what it was saying? What is this? I was going to say, I don't know what this stuff is. I can't use anything. Claim my rewards. Okay, so I got the gold. And we'll talk to her again. Alright, so we're on a run. And I got this big giant sword. Hey, I will say I do enjoy the aesthetics of this game. Even if it's like blowing up super duper big when it's meant to be played on like a mobile screen. Okay, that's Gus Smite. 160% skill damage to each target. So we have to unlock that one as well. Then the rest are from the black market. So I'm assuming you have to have X amount of currency to kind of use those other skills. Get that reward right there. And then we'll defeat Iron Fist of War. Can we see the new skill? Okay. 
Okay, is, is it that spin? Yeah. Seems like that might be a better move than what we got initially, if it's an AoE. Passive skill. Merge skill, support skills, and passive skills. Interesting. Also interesting how I'm level 16 already. Level up to level 20? What? Oh, what, what is happening here? This is just like grind time? Because they're giving a fat amount of experience. Yeah, they're giving... What the fudge? Well, okay. I'm like level 3000 right now. Level 19. Well, I'm 20. I came here to be 20, and now I'm pretty much done. Oh, I need to equip that gear, though. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we styling on him. That was weird. You know, part of me is like, why even have that level there if that's literally what we're going to do for, like, two seconds? Like, what is the point? All right, how come this armadura isn't repaired yet, man? Enhanced gear. Okay. Tap on the quest bar. If you wish to win, you must hone your weapon. Open the gear to check the details. Okay. So those little cubes enhance our weapons. Powering it up so I can get a whole bunch of damage. There's also stat boosts that we can apply to our weapons, but I don't think I'm going to waste it on something if I don't have to. Because this is like noob gear. I'm sure I'll get something better. Like, look, level 20 like already there's level 28 that's weird 40 60 80 and 100 why is there 28 in between this get him out of here look at that pro gamer you guys seen it here first 160,000 experience what all right we'll equip that also equip that what do I do with all this excess gear? Oh, there's bulk dismantle. Oh, I need three more. All right, uh, we'll do the common gear and also one of these guys. All right, I got like literally like no gold from that. So it looks like I need to level up a little bit more to equip this pants, but you know, that's not gonna take that long. Weapon module, but if you wish to merge again, we need to repair the modest arm armor expansion. We gotta fix everything on this thing. We got a motorcycle. Oh yeah, it's time to game on. I got a whole bunch of power from having this motorcycle. What? They surely throw a lot at you. Level up to level 28. Alright, let me see how long this is going to take. <laughs> Not long at all. Like, they like just give you these wasp mobs to grind on. Like, get to level 28. It's like, dude... Just go ahead and have me be level 28. I don't need to see this for two seconds and literally be the level that you need me to be. Look at that. We back up in there, man. We are back up in there. Uh, what else is there, though? Uh, the character boosts gear, craft, aircraft, defense field, artifact, neuron, memoir. I mean, there's also the settings and stuff, too. But still, I'd... Very interesting. Um... And then in terms of character, we already went over there. And it looks like these points don't matter too much. I mean, I'm sure that they do, but it didn't seem to be a big factor in anything. In terms of my stats. Only only when it comes to gear, though. Then we have the skills over here with Arbiter. And A1 unlocks at level 120. Mighty Arbiter unlocks at level 100. 
in well not 100 but level 200 so there's even more skills that we haven't even got to yet because this is just the base skill thing but if I'm already level 28 and it hasn't even been like 20 minutes total I don't foresee that taking forever especially if they give you grind mobs but you know what guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh, I figured I would give a look at uh, this lovely game right here uh, cyberpunk fantasy feel free to download it if it interests you uh, I think the game looks fine and it runs fine I'm just a little bit apprehensive because it's purely auto and while I'm a big fan of auto games I do like at least some things in the game to be manual but this is purely auto like I could like maybe make like a macro or something that could click on the quest and literally play the game for me which at that point is kind of like why even load the game if there's really no interaction other than me clicking this button right here but um once again if it interests you i implore you to go ahead and give it a shot if not i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one